Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. Welcome if you are new. I'm so glad that you joined me this evening. So today's video is basically, well, it's a combination. I went to the Dollar Tree recently and I actually went aisle by aisle to see if I could find things to bring into my craft space that maybe I had used before and some new things that I hadn't quite thought of to use before in my craft space. And then I have a few crafts to do at the end. So um, I will also, for the crafts, be putting a link to the design space file for you down in the description. And so without further ado, let me go ahead and share with you the finds that I found at my local Dollar Tree and then we can get to crafting and just enjoy a great evening together. Okay, so as I walked around Dollar Tree, I literally did something I never really do, and that was to pretty much go aisle by aisle and really take my time and look at the things that I thought would be, um, I guess, adding value to my craft space and my projects. So one of the things that I found, and this was in the party section. This is really not a section that I visit very often, but I found these, um, they're like, they're little round mini bowls. This is a set of six, and I can tell you how wide they are. So they are three inches wide at the top. Of course, you do see that they taper a little bit. But I really thought that these would be great. My family does play a lot of games, and the games have a lot of small pieces and um, tokens and stuff like that. So I thought that these would be good for that. Also, um, in my craft space, you know, holding little things that I need to hold that I don't want them to run all over my um, table. So. I thought this was just a really neat find, and along these same lines, I found these tiny little, they're called mini wavy plates, but they're like little trays. So if you've ever seen the triangle trays, um, I know you can get them at um, Pink Fresh Studio and Simon Says Stamp, those triangular trays that other crafters use to hold their embellishments when they're doing cars, etc. But I thought that some of these could go, you know, for the family game cabinet, and then some could stay in my crafty space for holding those embellishments when I am making cards. So speaking of cards and the party section, this is something that um, I don't know why it surprised me, but this is simply a bag of confetti and you can see here it's just a bunch of party hats and some stars just a really fun mix and when I saw this I thought immediately birthday shaker card how cute are those I saw these and I thought that's a great little bag so there are, so this was from the party section. In the craft aisle, I was very pleased with a few things that I found that are, I've seen a lot, sometimes I've picked some of them up, and then there's a few things that were new that I hadn't seen before, and this is one of those. So this is um, a six pack of just colorful sequin that are definitely great, not only for shaker cards, but also card embellishment. And so I picked up, actually I picked up two packages of each of these, and we'll be putting those in my new embellishment box that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I do resin crafts, so I do wood burning, and I'm really not brave enough to put wood burning crafts on YouTube yet. But a lot of my wood burning crafts, I like to cover them with resin, especially when I'm making trays and that and that kind of stuff. So I saw this and I thought I would give this a try. Now I typically will buy large quantities of resin on the internet. So I order, you know, big supplies. 
And then in a pinch, I will run to Michael's or Walmart and I will grab a, a box that has some bottles that are like eight, in, eight ounces each, etc. But I thought that, well, at my Dollar Tree, they had a lot of resin crafts. I was actually really impressed with what they're trying to bring to their customer base. It was a great, fun find. Something I was really pleased to see because I almost ordered one of these online and it was several dollars. So it was like in the five to seven dollar range. And I forget what um, uh, vendor it was that I was looking at, but I saw this and I thought, perfect. I can try this out. It's a dollar. And if it's not super great, it's fine. It was a dollar. Then continuing on in the craft space, there's a couple of crafty things. One of the wood burning crafts that my, that I did with my husband, actually, I was teaching him how to wood burn and color it in, but um, we made some coasters. And then we found these adhesive cork sheets. Ironically, he had just started, he just asked me, hey, those coasters we made a year or so ago, can we put some cork on the bottom of them? And I, sh I thought, sure. So I was gonna investigate, you know, ordering. And then I came across this at the Dollar Tree. So I just picked up two packages and I'm gonna put these on the bottom of the coasters that I helped him make and I think this is going to work out really well and it was a great price point. I found some foil cardstock. So this has a silver, two silvers, we have a gold, we have, oh I'm sorry, you know what, these first two are holographic. Those are holographic, these are gold, this is silver. Then we have a blue, that blue is so pretty, one of my favorite blues. And then we have a red, and then we have a green. Guys, this would make great Cricut um, cutaway cards. Um, in fact, I will link a video. I made some cutaway cards the other day or the other week, and I used uh, six by six sheets of glitter, but foil would be just as beautiful. So this was a good find, and um, I like six by six sheets like this. This is one of my staples. Whenever I go to Dollar Tree, I do purchase one of these stretched canvas, um, and what I use them for is, well, you could use them just like they are, but I like to do reverse canvas projects. So I just picked up one of these. This is a, a staple for me. Another staple that I have gotten into is the um, adhesive pop dots. So they have round pop dots and then they have square. And I tend to pick up a package or two every time I'm at the Dollar Tree. And I find that these work really, really well. They're a great price point. Um, and I know that, I mean, you know, we all have our favorites, but I have some premium pop dots from online vendors and I love them, but these actually, if, especially if I need a whole bunch, if I'm doing like a shadow box layering cardstock, these are great because they're a really good price point and I can use a whole bunch of them and save my premium ones for card making. And then this is a new find for me that I have tried once before, and I did talk about it on my channel here last week when I was making cards, but this is double-sided tape. Now, it's not very um, wide, which is perfect, and it's it's like foam tape. You know, it ha you, it's sticky on one side, you put it down, and then you pull up the protective liner, um, just like foam tape, but it's flat. So it's like, just like double-sided tape, but it has, um, it has a, a carrier sheet, so to speak, that, or a release paper, you know? And so you're not getting, you know, sticky all over yourself until you're ready to release the stick on the one side. This has actually been something I've been very pleased with. So um, I think this will be something that I pick up frequently 
and something that I saw, I'm going to give this a try, but this is just liquid glue and it was in the craft section. I'm going to give this a try. I know everybody is very, very, um, very, very attached to their liquid glue adhesives. But sometimes, you know, in a pinch, we, we run out, run low, etc. I I wanted to test this out. I also thought that this would be good for my daughter to do her crafts as well and kind of save my premium glue um, for other projects. But I wanted to give it a try and see if it was worth um, purchasing. So there is this. This is in, like, over by the tool... Um, tool section I guess is what I would call it like tools and garagey kind of stuff and these are this is foam um, tape but it's it's already sectioned for you and I have used this quite a bit um, with paper crafts and I like it because it's already sectioned off I don't have to cut it um, and then it adds the um, dimension that I need so there's that Next, I ventured into the health and beauty and baby aisle. So I purchase these pretty often. These are um, alcohol free. I use them to clean my craft space, some of my tools. I use it to wipe down my Cricut cutting mats. These are invaluable. I, you know, they're a dollar twenty-five. There's sixty-four in there. And these just work really well. Um, so I purchase these quite frequently when I go to Dollar Tree. And I've been very happy with them. And then these two things I purchased um, in the beauty aisle. Now, I have been needing a small little angled brush for when I'm doing the um, embossing powder. And sometimes you kind of need to brush some off that's extra. So I purchased an angled liner brush so that I could save that for embossing. And then, this is so cute. It says it's a makeup brush cleaning mat, but I thought it would be great to um, use it to clean my stamps. Um, you know, just kind of rub it on there after I spray my stamp cleaner on them. Um, also, I'm sure, I haven't opened it yet, but it may be something where I can put things on top of it and it, they don't slide around on my glass mat. But I thought this was a great find. They had several different styles. And what I liked about this particular package is it's completely flat. So some of them have the, like this big suction cup thing on the back and I didn't want that at all. But this was flat and so I really liked that. This is also a staple of mine. These are those bamboo cutting boards, and I always purchase one or two when I go. These are great for crafting. They're great for wood burning. Now, I know um, there's a lot of debate out there about what types of wood you should use for wood burning. However, I do wood burn in a well-ventilated area, and I've always had a lot of success with these so I just think they're great for making little charcuterie boards or little um, you could put initials and monograms on them put with some cooking utensils and some towels for the kitchen and to make a great gift like for someone who has a new home or getting married last little uh, supply that I'm going to show you and then we're going to hop into crafting is I purchased now my daughter is 12 she's going on 21. I'm, I'm sure all of you know exactly what I'm talking about. And she is just the love of my life. She is amazing. I could not ask for a better daughter. But I can tell that she is turning 21 at the very young age of 12 because I brought this home. This is something that she would normally absolutely love. These were so cute. And I brought them home and I was so excited to give this to her. And y'all, I got the side eye. Seriously. She's like, Mom, I don't like those. They're too baby. <laughs> I think my heart just sank right then. But I just decided that I would use these for my own self in my classroom. And they will just still make me happy because I don't know about you, but 
sometimes it's just nice to be young at heart and this really just these are so cute and I can just put a little label on the front with my vinyl and anyway so they have some great school supplies finds and so I think that I will probably return there and you know let her pick out some staples that she deems worthy but let me put all this away really quick and then we're gonna hop into the crafting I've got about oh four I think I have about four crafts to share with you this evening so our first craft this evening takes us back to that party aisle and these are little tiny candy jars and they have lids these are so cute guys these are great finds for the craft space so I just got one package because I wanted to make sure that I would use them and be happy with them. But they, they're just plastic little candy jars and I just think that they are so adorable. What I decided to do with these is I have one of these and these are stitch markers for crochet. and. I want to use this, which I did get at the Dollar Tree. It has, um, it's one of the large Jot brand um, magnetic, you know, it's a magnetic tin. And the magnet on these tins is really strong. I, I like these. So whenever I see them, I pick them up. But I, I'm kind of reorganizing my craft space. I have a very small craft space. So I'm, I'm definitely doing some reorganizing and, and everything. Anyway, um, these are stitch markers for crochet. And if you're not familiar with those, they look like really big plastic safety pins. And you just clip them into your stitch and they hold your place. So they help you count your stitches they help you mark where you begin and end a particular section and I just love them. So I have a whole bunch here and I wanted to put them in one of these little jars that because they're so colorful and they're fun and then in here you can't really see them. And then in this jar I have, so I have a ton of sticker paper and I don't know how I feel about the sticker paper yet because it's it literally is the just adhesive backed paper. It's great for little stickers, but it's, you know, they're not waterproof or, or anything like that, so I can't put them on my water bottles. But I had made these tiny little logo stickers, and they're just, you know, kiss cut stickers. And I put these, you know, on the back of cars. I was playing around with these. Anyway. I thought that these would be nice to just stick in one of these and, you know, so use them up. And I may or may not make any more. I'm thinking about getting an actual stamp, but I think it's neat to have a little round logo for yourself. So with that being said, what I decided to do is, let's see here. Okay. So I grabbed my scraps and quite a few of the crafts tonight are definitely scrap busters. So this is the sticker paper that I was talking about. So it's this here. And I had my Cricut Joy just write out the words logo sticker. And then I had it cut the sticker for me. And this is just going to, I think what I'm going to do is put this on top and before I do that I probably should get my rubbing alcohol simply because and I'm out of paper towels but okay so I'll just use this little cloth here you know I want to make sure that the vinyl pieces that I use stick to everything today so the logo sticker will go here on the top and so this is a two inch round sticker the lids are two inches in diameter so there we go I can 
just pop these in there and these just screw on like that and then I had this is from a keychain project that I had and when I was in my scraps I was like oh hey yeah I forgot about that so I thought it would be just kind of fun to put this on the side of the logo sticker so I'm gonna grab a little piece of transfer tape just to decorate the jar and then have one of the actual stickers in the middle here. So let me get this. So again, I'm really just looking at ways I can use up scraps and take care of projects and organizational things. Okay. And I've had this in my scrap, um, my scrap envelope forever. So I just thought it would be neat to take care of it. And this is about the right size. Oh, a little too fast there. And I'm just using my finger to burnish that down because it's so little real estate. And hold on to that. And then, yes, the blues don't really match, but I need to get my fingers out of the way. And then I'll just put that on there like that. So this is just my little beauty jar that I wish my autofocus would work. I'm so sorry. Well, anyway, this is just my little jar of logo stickers. And my logo stickers, you know, they're about an inch round. So there are those. And then we'll grab the other one here. Okay, so this one here is the one where I'm just going to put stitch markers on the top. Okay, so again, two inch round sticker paper, and I just had the Cricut write and cut that out for me. And then this particular circle is just regular, you know, white vinyl. And I made, there we go. Now I won't stab myself. I made a, um, I made some stitch markers and I, I modified a safety pin image and I just made some little stitch markers and I'm just going to set them down on this vinyl here. So again, great scrap buster. And that's one of my goals this year is to use up my scraps as much as possible, whether it is um, Cricut projects or card making or paper crafts. So, whoop. all right, so now we have, and I still, I still have plenty of um, real estate left over with these. So those can go back in the scrap deal. And now I'm going to just put this on the side of the jar. But I thought that would be so cute. Cute and organized. That is definitely right up my alley. Okay. And then we'll just
stick that on the side. And I think, yeah, I think I got that. And we'll just peel that up. Looks like it'll have a little bubble here, so we'll just push that out. Okay, so my little stitch markers, and then these can just go in here and how cute is that that just that looks like a party you know and then these can go on the uh, surface or the these can just sit on my pegboard Put a little bubble there okay so there's that the next craft that I want to do and I'm kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say sad, but, um, so I bought a pink one of these and a, like a teal blue one of these and, um, in the school supply section. And my daughter, of course, wanted the pink one, which is totally fine. And I was so excited because I wanted to, um, I wanted to like monogram or put some flowers on it for her or something and yeah she didn't she didn't like that she just wanted it plain and just leave it alone mom I was like okay so I had just while I was there I went ahead and just picked up some of these super cheap little triple A batteries and actually These can just go in here. We're always using AAA batteries, so nice little place for them. And this takes three AAA batteries. And then I'm just going to put that in there. This comes out. You know, it's just a little desktop pencil sharpener. And let's test it. Let's see. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> you could definitely poke your eye out with that. Nice. Okay, so these work really well. Um, anyway, I um, put together, I just did like some flowers and I have two different kinds of flowers. One has a circle that we're going to pull out of the middle and then the other has like a swirl but when I went to cut the swirls well some of the swirls stayed where they needed to be and then some of the swirls I had to go hunt them down and put them back in their spot so I don't know if we're going to be able to keep those but we'll see, we'll see how they do. Um, so anyway, I decided to go ahead and use these little flowers for mine because she decided that she did not want flowers on hers, which, you know, is fine. I think I'm trying to hold on to her, her little self and she is definitely spreading her wings which is normal, you know. She's wanting to be like her older siblings. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Another thing with these Scrap Buster projects is I get to use quite a bit of my transfer tape scraps. All right, so I don't know if you can see, but see how I've got one, two, three swirls that don't seem to be liking their placement. Oh, and I'm going to pull up. So these flowers, I wanted to have the circle middles gone. 
And then the other flowers, I wanted the little swirls. So hopefully they work out. Little sticky flower circles. Okay. And then what I did is I just measured like from here to this side here and I'm just going to see how many of these I can put on here and I think I'll go this way and that way we oh that is very cattywampus oh I got lucky it covered all of them so anyway these flowers now will have a home and it's not on her little um, sharpener, but that it's okay. And, alright. Oh, okay, so... Maybe my swirls are going to work after all. Well, this swirl is stuck. I'll have to fix that one, a little surgery, but they don't look too bad from this side. And so what I thought I would do is just, you know, kind of like those cup wraps. See if I can just wrap around. I'm going to put these, and then this one I will put I'm going to trim this one off just a hair so I can move it here on the front, like that. Okay. So I'll have to fix this one. So that swirl seems to be all right. And I will need to, I didn't think about this, but I'm just going to take my true control knife and cut right here. This is where the battery compartment is. And that way, when I pull the battery compartment off, then that um, flower doesn't get destroyed. Okay, and then we'll just keep going around in the same fashion. So just like on the other side, I do have to make sure that I cut this flower I'm just letting my my knife glide through the through the cut so here's our little flower decorated pencil sharpener and it works really well see it's the Jot brand that's you know their office supplies and school supplies so this is handy okay good deal our next craft is something for my classroom. Let me just move a couple of these things out of the way. Now this is going to be fun because I purchased three of these and they're kind of shimmery. They're, they're not glittery, but they're kind of shimmery and they're just one inch binders. So a couple of things that I decided to do So on the spine, and um, I don't know, I, my original thought was I would just leave this on there. This is um, the sticker paper again, and I was just going to cover this with it. So I have three different math classes, and I thought I would just cover this label 
with my own label. Now I had the Cricut, this is the Carly Sketch font. And when you look at it in design space, it looks like the outline of the letters and then like little lines inside. But when it actually did the words, it it's like all filled in. So look at that, that's great. I didn't know it would do that. I thought I was gonna have all these like little sketch lines inside the, the outline of the letters. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. And then what I did is I, I made the same labels. So I have a geometry word over here. And then I made an offset. So in the design space file, if you choose to, you can go in and double click on these words and you can change these to whatever subject you want. So you can also click on these words and change whatever. So, you know, I'll leave everything in the design space file and you, you can, um, you know, do edit a copy and personalize that in the way that suits your own needs. So let's see, where's my, this is my geometry one. Okay, so I'm going to weed out this geometry word. This is a really, really gorgeous rose. It's like a rose gold, but it's more of a rose than a gold. Um, I purchased it from Expressions Vinyl, and guys, this is, it is just the most gorgeous color. Um, you know, sometimes when you order your vinyl until you go pick it up, it's like, oh, I don't, I think I know what color is it. You know, the colors look different online, but this is just gorgeous. Oh, well, let's see if I can rescue my G here. Okay, I got really lucky there. Put this back down. And This font is um, also from Design Space. It's Kate, Baby Girl, um, and it's just a really cute font. I'm gonna have to piece my transfer tape together, but that's all right, I'm not too worried about that. Let me put that aside. And then this is the offset, and I'm gonna lay the rose-colored vinyl word onto the offset, and then we will pick that up, and we'll put that onto the binder all at one time. Pull your sheet off. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to order more of this rose. It is really gorgeous. We just peel that up like that. Grab our geometry binder and and then put that right there. Oop. Got a little too fast. Okay, so here this is for my geometry stuff. So next I'm going to do the algebra class. The more and more I think about this sticker paper, I really think it is good for labeling. Um, things for the classroom, maybe labeling things for a, a kid's room. Let's 
so I have to laugh. We took our soldier son. We have to drive a few hours to an airport anyway, so we had to take him. He had to fly back. He was on leave. We had a great time. And it was funny because I could tell on the last day that he was here, he was very moody. <laughs> Did not want to. I guess he just wasn't ready to go back yet. And uh, so we went the night before because his flight was at like 5.30 in the morning. And we, I had to have him to the airport by like 3.30, 4 o'clock. And so then I just drove, you know, straight back. It's a pretty quick trip. Okay, there's algebra. Great. Oh, I'm so pleased. These look great. And then today, he, he gave me a call today. Wanted to make sure that I was okay and that, you know, if I was missing him already. Oh, it's so funny. No matter how old they get. They want to be missed. I thought it was cute. So at first I teased him and I said, Oh no, I'm not missing you. I've been making a lot of craft videos. Well, he didn't think that was too funny. Question of the day. How is everybody's summer going? And actually, that's really not the question of the day. How is everybody doing? Question of the day is, what is your favorite type of crafts? Are you a, a variety crafter where you like a little bit of everything? Are you simply a paper crafter? Are you simply someone who only does vinyl crafts? Um, let me know down in the comments, like, what are your favorite crafting categories? I kind of like a little, well, I say a little bit of everything, but I like to use my Cricut. I like to make cards and do little paper crafts. And, of course, the wood burning and the resin, I would say those are the big four. And then, oh, something I learned this past year was, um, it's called Amigurumi. I think I pronounced that correctly. If I did not, I apologize. But it's where you crochet those three-dimensional um, plushies, you know, stuffed animals or little people. And they are so fun. Think of um, the Wobbles. I'm sure you've seen craft commercials for them. Those are super fun. That's kind of why I have those stitch markers. There we go. All right. So now I have three binders to organize some of my things. And okay, we are down to the last craft. And this one is really a, this is a good one, a really cute one. So this is actually a Christmas craft, and I'm sure that you've seen at the Dollar Tree these little um, wood little crates that are really small and cute, and this is what they look like, just that natural wood. I went ahead and just did a, you know, kind of a, just a preliminary chalk paint and I may go back in and redo a, like go in here and do this part but I think I'm going to um, do like a black so I left it for now and we're going to be turning this into a stack of books so here I have I have three different colors of vinyl and so we're going to turn this into a stack of books. 
and put a sweet little ribbon around it. And, and I'm just using, um, you know, adhesive vinyl. I didn't want to paint that or anything because if I ever want to change it out. Okay, so we have the Christmas story, not, not a Christmas story like the movie, but, you know, the actual Christmas story story of Christmas and so we have that and then I have and these I mean I could probably just make a huge ginormous stack of Christmas stories that I love but I kind of wanted some traditional this C really wants to stay with its I'll fix that in a second. Okay, so I'm going to rescue the dot to my eye. Fix this C here. Okay, does that look like it's straight? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so tiny little middle there, tiny middle, and two more. I thought about doing them all in the same color, but then I thought, well, we'll, we'll make different colors. Okay, this one, so this one has an, a dot to an eye and a little period. So hopefully those will stay where they're supposed to. There we go. Okay, so again, I'm going to rescue that little eye. So we just put that right back. Perfect. And just weeding out these little middles. So have you started making any holiday crafts yet? Or are you waiting? I'm kind of doing a little bit of everything. I'm doing some regular everyday crafts, card making crafts, Christmas crafts, and pretty soon we will have back to school and fall and Halloween, which is one of my favorites. Okay, so then we will be placing these onto those little slats. That'll be great. But I am definitely enjoying the crafting summer. It is. Oh, I need, I need a tiny little piece. Scissors. I didn't figure those were long enough. That's okay. There we go. That'll work. In fact, my crafting to-do list is, well, to-do list, my crafting list of projects that I would like to do is probably as tall as a mountain. But I guess that's a good thing. Crafting is my retreat. Okay, so then bring this in and then Just like that. Oh, this particular font is called Knickerbocker. It is so, um, it's Christmassy without being, um, 
how do I put it? Like cart it's not cartoony, you know, it's it's just a nice Christmas font. I'll just use this same piece of transfer tape. So and obviously in the design space link you will you'll see all of the fonts that are in there. But I really do like Knickerbocker and I like the Kate Baby Girl and I forget I forget what font this is. Not a hundred percent sure what that one was. Okay, how cute is that? And then, so the question now is, you know, I'm gonna make a little bow. Do we use, do we use a red ribbon? Or do we use a twine ribbon? What do you guys think? I don't know. I can't decide. That's my problem half the time. I, I can't decide. Here's a little tip. Those reverse tweezers that we love, they will be your third finger when you're making little bows. Very helpful. like so something like this and then you know you could use I have um, like burlap twine so something like that or I guess I could move it down here to the end okay so something like that and now it's a cute little Christmas decor and it doesn't take up a lot of real estate so um, you know, it's just a cute little piece of Christmas decor. Okay, so these are the crafts that we did this evening. We had um, these little candy jars that are plastic. They have a lid that screws on. And we, so we made a sticker logo for, our sticker uh, labels for the tops and then just some fun elements for the side. And these will look so cute on the um, pegboard shelves. So I'm really excited about those. And then uh, I'm very pleased at how this works. Probably could have done a monogram instead of the flowers. Or, I, ooh, I could have done little pencils. That would have been cute. Little pencils all over there. So I'll have to noodle that. Maybe remove some of the flowers and put little pencils or something. I don't know. Maybe it's fine the way it is. And then I'm just glad that this works really well. That is a really sharp point that that pencil came in. And then we had the three binders with our rose um, colored vinyl that's just absolutely gorgeous and then an offset so that it would stand out and more sticker um, more sticker paper labeling and this was the Carly sketch font right here this was great okay so oh then we had our little stack of books and I really like these. I do think I'm going to go back in and maybe do like a black line here in this tiny little space. 
and then I may or may not see if I like the burlap ribbon better, but just a cute little small Christmas decor to add to my stash. So, hmm, I, you know, I'm having a really hard time with a favorite, but I, I guess I will go with this as my favorite because I really do love fall and holiday crafts. And so we're getting into, well, not yet, but we're getting into that part of the year where I can start making some really nice projects. So I think this is my favorite for this evening. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite is. Um, if you would have used a different design on here. Um, I just was looking for something that was simplistic and easy and you know, how would you use these little candy jars? What would you put in them in your crafty space? And actually, I may go get more because it would be really nice to have a candy, a little candy stash in my desk drawer at school. That might be fun. So there we go. Those are those projects for tonight. So I hope you found this video um, informative and helpful and of course inspiring at least to get your creative juices flowing and come up with some projects that you want to do for your crafty space, etc. And don't forget I am going to link the all the supplies that I use this evening will be listed below and I will be linking the design space file so that you can edit a copy and change anything that you want in there and use it for your own purposes. Um, hope that, that you are enjoying those design space links. I will probably start working on going back through all of my videos and adding those links in to the descriptions. Uh, I just started doing that a couple of weeks ago and I really just like sharing those links with you. If you found this video helpful and inspiring, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your crafty friends. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Turn that on so you know the next time that content is posted. So in the meantime, until I see you again, enjoy your day and take some time for yourself to create something awesome and as always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.